It's a biggest mistake that people think that if they got money, that this money belongs to them. Because when we go outside and we see beautiful flowers, they don't smell themselves, do they? When we enjoy the warmth of the sun, sun is giving the warmth to us. It doesn't warm itself. When we see a cow that gives us milk, cow doesn't drink milk itself. When we see a healer, the reason why it has the healing power is to heal others. I have a gift and my knowledge I'm sharing with you. But we as a human beings think that if we have money, it all to belongs us. to us. And that's how we become like a monsters, greedy and seeking power. And we want more and more. And by the way, this is how we will never know who God is. Once you will learn that your purpose, your true purpose, whether you're a musician or artist, a healer or teacher, it doesn't belong to you. It's there for you to give it away. The more you give your purpose, your knowledge from a goodness of your heart, the more fulfilled you're going to be. I cannot stop recording those videos to you as I'm giving my knowledge to you. Giving more knowledge to you, guess who feels more fulfilled? Me. And this is my contribution to you. And I would like for you to start thinking about how not how much more money you can make, but how much more you can give away. That's where the true happiness is. And that's how you make your soul happy. And that's how you make God himself happy as well. Please think about it. Someone asked me yesterday, Alisa, so who is the leader in the family? My friends, the leader in the family is a husband because he is rational. He is strong. He knows how to provide and protect for a family. He knows how to put his emotions on the side and make a decision that is best for a family. But right now in our modern society where everything is equal, the boundaries between a man and a woman are kind of unclear and there's no certainty who is the leader, to whom kids come to ask for serious decision-making process. Who do the kids come to? Who do the wife comes to? She can make a decision herself, and most of the time it's a wrong decision because she made a decision based on emotion. Because a woman's brain goes all over. She thinks one thing one day, next thing the other thing, but she thinks she is the smartest, she is the wisest, and she knows the best. And with this, we become more and more uncertain who is the leader in the family, but the leader is a man. But there's also important the role of a mother who is a nurturer, who is a loving, who is sweet, gentle, loyal, kind, humble, peaceful. Kids come to mom for nurturer, for support, for understanding, and they come to dad when they need to make a right decision maybe for play. And so that's why I believe in traditional family where everything is clear, the role of a husband, the role of a mother, the role of a child. But in the modern society, it's very unclear. A man now is feminine, emotional. He could cry. He could fall in love and say, I'm crazy about you. I cannot live without you. Or he can play with a woman. And then if he's heartbroken, he starts drinking and crying to his friends. But this is not a role of a leader. A man is a rational creature who knows what's best for the family. A man is someone who woman go to to cry on the shoulder and he can support her emotionally, physically. And so right now the fashion is where people are really uncertain who man is and who woman is. So my friends, that's why we need to get back to the roots, understanding a woman's role, a mother's role, a wife's role, a husband's role, a father's role, a child's role. Namaste, my friends. Person takes karma on themselves when they're judging others. You can do it very spiritually by showing a person how not to do the wrong thing. And then this person is guiding them 
how to live life or how to go through situation doing it properly. But the moment we judge someone, we actually take on their karma on ourselves. So that's why, my friends, we have to be very careful. We live in a society where we're judging women shouldn't be this way, men shouldn't be this way, our kids shouldn't be this way, our parents shouldn't be this way. This is all good. Understanding psychology, how what's right and what's wrong is important. But the moment we judge people how they shouldn't be, we are taking on ourselves people's karma. And that's why we have to be very careful and continue learning and educating ourselves spiritually. Namaste, my friends. How can you forgive someone who is not your relative, but someone who hurt you? My friends, when somebody comes into your life and you're experiencing breakdown and pain because they're causing you pain, it's because they're trying to teach you something. Believe it or not, these are the best people, the best teachers in your life because they're helping you to consciously become aware of where you are spiritually and also to teach you how to grow and overcome challenges in life. And so what I do typically when people come into my life and they frustrate me or upset me, I spend even more time in the morning surrendering to them, wishing them happiness and making them my closest people to my soul because I recognize that they're here and they're teaching me something. They're teaching my ego to overcome a certain battles that I'm still dealing with. They're teaching me to become more kinder, more peaceful, more feminine. And so stop trying to battle anyone because if you're gonna see that their contribution into your life you will continue to grow emotionally, physically, spiritually, and you will be able to overcome that. Anyone that comes into your life, consider. The bigger the pain, the bigger the lesson, the bigger will be the transformation if you will surrender to the lesson and exam. Namaste, my friends. Friends, when you're in pain, your goal is to surrender to this pain and consciously start looking why are you hurting what have you done because typically our mind is busy and anxious is because we hurt someone we ignored someone and our ego is in the way because we're thinking selfishly about ourselves and maybe about our attachments and our goals and our desires and that's why when we're in a state of meditation prayer you can calm down your brain your mind and start connecting why is your mind busy? What is really going on in the background? And when you are by yourself, you can start fully consciously connecting to this feeling of stress, feeling of pain, and accepting it. When we are consciously aware, we can overcome anything that is happening in our life. Yes, my friends, no matter how ridiculously it might sound right now, but when you're consciously sitting with your emotions and feelings, you can surrender to them. And when you surrender to them, you are consciously start to level up. And every time you overcome something, that's how you continue to grow. Yes, my friends, try to start practicing what I'm telling you. Wake up in the morning. 15, 20 minutes early. Start your day with meditation. Calm down your mind and you will start connecting to your emotions and feelings and thoughts. Don't battle them. Just surrender to them one by one. Namaste, my friends. We're all seeking happiness in life. It doesn't matter whether it's in relationship, family, with kids, at work. We're all very hungry and we're all want this happiness in life. But my friends, to be happy is actually very easy. It's very simple. The key to happiness is not to get attached to anyone. And then you might think, well, then you don't know how to love. No, that's not true. You love them. You deeply love them. But you are not attached to use them, to get love from them. Or you're not attached to get something from them. And that is, my friends, the deepest type of love 
where you love someone unconditionally without being attached to them. Even if you have your husband, even if you have your children, they're not truly yours. They're your teachers in life that came into your life for you to share that certain period of life with them, but you don't owe them. And that's why you cannot demand or you cannot be attached to how they should be or how they shouldn't be. So think about that, my friends. Namaste.